Hey guys, it's phase one. In this video, you're going to learn how to manage capacitors in Star Citizen. If you're new to this channel, we do all kinds of Star Citizen content. So make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification button so that you don't miss out on new videos. I also stream on Twitch every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. So if you have any questions or if you just like to hang out, make sure to leave me a follow there as well. All my links are down below. And without any further ado, let's get started. Introduced in Star Citizen Alpha 3.14, capacitors have now changed the way we fly our ships, especially in combat. Capacitors are now the middleware devices between your power plant and weapons, shields, and thrusters. Each ship has a separate capacitor for each. The capacitor acts as a pool of finite energy in which can be recharged based on your power distribution. The power triangle controls where the power plant should distribute energy. Weapons capacitor converts its energy into energy ammo. Once depleted, there is a short delay before the recharge initiates. Available ammo relies on the amount of energy weapons attached that are online and the amount of power distribution. Notice the amount of available energy when I put full power to weapons. Also, see how the ammo redistributes once you've turned off one energy weapon. With this understanding, weapon composition is very important. It's ideal to have a healthy combination of lasers and ballistic weapons. Having too many laser weapons means less sustained fire as they have to share the same finite energy ammo pool. Ballistic ammo will be very limited but very powerful. Thus, it is important to pick your shots. Engine capacitor converts its energy into boost. Boost is used to activate afterburner on the ship in order to evade. Boost will run out if used continuously. Once you've stopped using it, the capacitor will activate after a short delay and attempt to replenish the boost. The recharge rate is also dictated by the amount of power distribution. Notice how slow the boost replenishes when you put minimal power to engines. With full power to engines, the recharge rate is much faster. Shield capacitor is responsible for recharging your shields. Minimal power distribution to shields means a slow recharge rate. Notice how quickly the shields recharge with full power to the shields. With these new additions, it's important to constantly engage in monitoring your power distribution during combat. If you're on the defense, make sure to divert power to shields. You need to evade more power to engines. When on the attack, divert power to weapons. Ensure to learn the keybinds F5 for weapons, F6 for engines, F7 for shields, and F8 to reset to equal distribution. When you need to regenerate shields quickly, double tap F7 as it will put 34% more energy to shields. That means 17% per tap. When you want to divert power to weapons, when on offense, hit F8 to reset. Double tap F5 to put more power to weapons. During combat, you can use this method to push your ship to its full potential. Was this guide helpful? Let me know in the comments below. If there's anything in this video that you like, make sure to leave a like. And if you haven't already, subscribe for more. I will see you on the next one.